All right, guys, the Mavs are going to lose their first game out of the uh, All-Star break. A frustrating loss. I'm not going to lie to you. This one was frustrating. Just because you got a bad Luka night. I mean, you just did. 17 points from Bertans, 20 from Dinwiddie, 22 from Dwight Powell. Uh, you want to win those. Like, if you're getting performances like that from those guys, you want to win those games. And I thought Luka played really poorly tonight. I, I thought we got a bad Luka game, you know, making me look like a, like a dumbass because... I've been pushing that Luka Doncic MVP narrative, and it, it was another bad Luka night. And I was kind of hoping we had moved on from these. Like, it, it seemed like we were trending away from these. Hadn't gotten one of these where he's yelling at the refs. He's holding the ball for 20 seconds. We got one of those tonight. Uh, and Gobert, a lot of the times you see, uh, you know, guys like guys like Gobert, whenever they get switched on a perimeter, onto the perimeter against guards, which happened pretty much almost every possession down the stretch of this game, the other guards blow right past them. They get easy looks. That's why the Jazz lose in the playoffs. But Luka couldn't do it. He was in fucking prison. Like, Rudy Gobert had him in jail all night on the perimeter. He didn't budge a single time on the perimeter against Luka. And yeah, he fouled the shit out of him. I mean, Rudy Gobert was hacking the shit out of Luka, and they weren't calling it. But that is what it is. That is what it is. I still thought you had a bad Luka night. He just wasn't hitting his shots. Some terrible offensive uh, possessions down the stretch where Luka held onto the ball for 20 seconds. And it led to either turnovers or terrible shots for other teammates, right? Those aren't necessarily turnovers, but they might as well be when you throw a grenade to uh, Bertans who has to shoot like a half-court three. Or you throw a grenade to Reggie Bullock, who's like damn near already out of bounds by the time you give it to him. You know, so uh, frustrating loss. Frustrating loss, especially because for most of the game up until the second half, it, like most of the fourth quarter, I thought the Mavs looked better than the Jazz. I just thought that they were playing better. The Jazz were just fucking unconscious from three in the second half of the game. The second half of the game, they were just completely and totally numb from deep. Couldn't miss, especially Donovan Mitchell. 7 of 12 from deep. All of those tough shots, too. You know, that's what Donovan Mitchell is going to give you. Tough shots. Uh, it was funny because he had a possession down the stretch where he drains a three right in Dorian Finney-Smith's face. A nice contest by Dodo, right? I mean, not much else you can do there besides completely prevent the shot. But Which I guess when Donovan Mitchell's feeling like this, you should do that. But, uh... Nice shot right there from Donovan. And then a couple possessions later, he was literally by himself on the wing for a wide open three, and then he missed it. So it was one of those nights where anything contested, drains. Anything uh, open, miss. Anything open, miss. And another reason why I'm very frustrated by this loss, again, it felt very winnable. Like I said at the top, you get 20 from Dinwiddie, you get 17 from Bertans, you get 22 from Dwight Powell, you shoot 44% from deep. You want to win those. You know, you want to win those games. And it sucks even more though, because it's the Jazz. You want to, you this is a, as it stands right now, you are playing this team round one in the playoffs. You want to, you want to surpass them in, in the standings. You would love to get over them in the standings, and instead, just uh, like bad Luka games feel terrible. I'm not gonna lie to you. There's just something about a bad Luka game that just feels disgusting, especially when the others are playing good. Uh, besides, uh, Brunson played bad too. Thought you had a bad Brunson night. And we really needed him. I, I thought, you know, the start of the fourth quarter, he did okay. Which is when we really, really needed him. But, uh, yeah, not a great Brunson tonight. Not a great Brunson tonight. Maxi played good defense, but again, one of six from deep. <sighs> but he did play some good defense, though. Like, I, of course, that's what Maxi does. Two blocks, two steals. You know, we'd like to see some more shots go down, but we know what Maxi does at this point defensively. Right? That's what he does. So, uh, what, what do I got? Uh, Bertans, man. Bertans and Dinwiddie both had their best nights as a Mav. Bertans was uh, hitting crazy threes. And Luca also had, what, six or seven assists in the first quarter? So after that, it went down badly. And Luca and, and Rudy Gobert are getting into it. We have to look at If Luca is getting into it with another top-end player, feels like he always ends up playing bad. It has to be a random bad player. Good player, it's not going to go well. Here's a crazy shot from Nidwitty in transition. I was about to pull my fucking hair out when he pulled up here. And he hit. You know what? I will say, I, I was happy with what Kid did. I was worried. Uh, at like the seven minute mark or so when uh, Luka gets subbed in back in during the fourth quarter. I was worried that they were going to take Dinwiddie out because that was when Dinwiddie was on fire. But they left him out there for a while before pulling him again. So I, I do like that. I like that they decided to stick with Dinwiddie whenever he was uh, feeling it. That was a good call by a good call by Jay Kidd. Here's Dinwiddie on a little step back three. It just looked nice tonight for Dinwiddie. And again, it just sucks that you, you wasted a... Uh, you just wasted a, a a big night from Dinwiddie and Bertans. Just sucks. Just absolutely sucks. 
What else do we have? Oh, Dwight Powell, too. 22. Dwight Powell had 22 points, like, damn near halfway through the third quarter. I thought we were going to get his career high. His career, his career high is, uh, I don't know what the fuck I just did. What just happened? What just happened? The Mavs secret police just shut down my stream? No, here we go. Uh, I thought we were going to get a career high from Dwight Powell. He looked good tonight, truthfully. He really did. Uh, but pretty much, you know, it, like I said, it just became Luka Ball towards the end. Dwight Powell did, and I don't want to go too hard on him. Oh, I don't want to go too hard on him because he played great tonight. But Dwight Powell missed the dunk on an oop, which really, really hurt. Really hurt in a very close game. A very close game. That one really hurt. And yeah, I, I'm seeing it in my chat. Yeah, Rudy Gobert definitely fouled the fuck out of Luka several different times. But it is what it is, man. I just want better offensive possessions. You know what I mean? I, it just... It, it looks really bad. When down the stretch of games, you lose because Luka holds the ball for 22 seconds. You know what I mean? But uh, hey, it's a tough stretch right here for the Mavs too. So you don't want to lose winnable games because it, it's tough. This is a very tough stretch. The standings are neck and neck. The standings are neck and neck. You got Golden State on Sunday, uh, LA on Tuesday. I mean, you don't want to sleep on the Lakers. Then Golden State again, and then you got Utah again. Then you got Boston, Brooklyn, Philly. Like, this is a tough stretch here for the Mavs out of the All-Star break. So losing a game like tonight where it felt winnable the whole time sucks. Really does suck. Especially everything I already said with Bertans, Dinwiddie, Dwight Powell all having performances like that. You shoot 43% from deep. Sucks to lose this game. It really, really does. And I thought Luka did not play good. Defensively, he was getting cooked. He was getting cooked. And you know one thing Luka has to stop doing? We saw this against the Hawks. You saw this against the Hawks. This game against the Hawks. Luca once or twice a game will do like a, a frustration take foul. Well, he'll just either like in transition a uh, foul a guy or after a rebound, you know, slap the shit out of a guy just in frustration as a frustration foul. He has to stop doing that. Because you had the game against the Hawks where like, he only got to play like 24 minutes. And you had a game like tonight where he had five fouls, with like five minutes left of the game. And defensively, he like was just stopped trying afterwards, even though he wasn't really trying beforehand. But you get what I'm saying. He's got to stop doing those fouls. Somebody's got to tell him that. I'm sure somebody has. But yeah, uh, just a tough loss. Obviously, the Jazz are a good team. And they are, like, out of all of the options for the Mavs, yes, I would, I would, I would like to face the Jazz in the playoffs just because I don't really want to play the Grizzlies. They're just super deep. Uh, the Nuggets terrify me. Come playoff time, if they get Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr. back, they have Jokic. I do not want to see them. So the Jazz are the team that I would like to see in the playoffs. But uh, they are liable to go off. I mean, 42%, it felt way higher. It was one of those nights where it just felt way higher from deep. But anyways, tough loss for the Mavs, man. But uh, it is what it is. Again, Utah's a good team. So you want to come out on Sunday, get a win against Golden State? Need to at this point because... If you, if you had won tonight, you would have been a, a half a game back from the fifth seed or the fourth seed, and I would have really liked the chances. But now you are uh, two and a half games back, and now I'm not going to lie to you. This is how I'm feeling just after one loss. But now I'm almost looking at the sixth seed, just like, all right, we can't lose a sixth seed. Like we can't lose the five seed. That's kind of where I feel like I'm at right now. Being two and a half games back with 20 games left, you can definitely make that up. But it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. I mean, this is. I mean, don't sleep on the Timberwolves either. Don't sleep on Minnesota. I obviously don't think the Mavs will fall into the play-in, but you never know. All right, guys. Tough loss, man. Damn.